go. <clears throat> oh, I just blasted them, dude. I just blasted them. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, that's uh, that's how you did it. Yeah. There you go. All right, well that's enough mullet for the day. That is enough mullet. Awesome. All right, Jetty Rockers. Well, we are at the jetties right now. I got Cody with me okay. over there. We're gonna see if we can't catch some redfish, maybe some snook, some mango snapper. We got mullet and we got some shrimp. So hopefully we'll catch something real soon, y'all. Wish us luck. Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available, and we will have more available soon. And also, guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there, because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website, so go check it out, y'all. And you can be in your own, very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. All right, guys, just gonna use one out hook, shrimp in the mouth part there. Just using a simple fish finder rig. Try some live shrimp, try some live mullet. Just throw it out here and see what happens. The first fish at the rocks. Cody got a little grover. That's what we're looking for is mangroves. Mangroves are red snap, redfish. All right, first grover. A little bit lighter out here at the rocks. Yep. He saw like 10 and a half. I don't know if you want to. Is he 10 and a half? Yeah, he's 10 and a half. If you want to keep him, keep him, brother. All right, throw them in the box. Say we brought something. Yeah, okay. Might be a nice little mangrove. Might be. Nope, little guy. Little Grover. Right here. We got a decent fish right here. Come on. Nice Grover. That's a good Grover. That is a good mang right there, yo. Yes, sir. Nice mangrove. Don't even gotta measure that bad boy. Don't even gotta measure that bad boy. Yes. It is definitely like a washing machine right here. Well, if I can catch some more mangoes like that, I don't care. Getting bit right now. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, I missed him. This feels like another good mango. This feels like another good Grover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I got, is that your line? Yeah, I got your line. Oh, another good mango, though. There you go. All right, now we got a mango. I'm pretty sure this one's like 11. We're close to it. Oh yeah, he's uh, ten and three quarters. 
Ten and three quarter going in the box. All right. Let's see if we can get the hook up on film here. Can't even hardly stand up. Holy cow, I'm getting nailed right now. Oh, I missed him. Dang, go. Can't believe I missed him. And he didn't even get the shrimp. Try it again. Try it again. It's already on it. Already on it. Oh, I missed him. Ah, gone. These things can be tricky, yo. They can be tricky. Something you don't feel all that big. You're not feeling all that big, but it doesn't mean he little. He little. Ah, I can't even stand up. Lovely. Come here, Grover. Pretty little guy. You got one? Ooh, Cody got a little lane. <laughs> Oh wow, that's big as the lanes we're catching out there. Oh, I've caught plenty of them. Yeah, if he's nine, keep him. Since we already got fish in the box. Yeah, gotta be nine inches. That's a sandwich. <laughs> He gone? So he gone. Got another one right here, y'all. Feels like a good man. Oh, it does. Come on. Another nice grover. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah. Another good one. Got one, Cody? Yep, Cody got one. What you got, buddy? Ooh, a little Margate. All right, let's see. This will be like 10 and a half, looks like. 10 and a half. All right. That's four. All right. All right, show. We got some nice mango snapper here. We got five of them, which is a one-man limit. I'll go ahead and show you how to clean a couple of these. Mango snapper is a very easy fish to clean. Just come right in here, slide it up there next to that gill plate, make your incision, turn your knife sideways, and just go right along that backbone, go right through those rib cage, and it comes out really nice. This is, in my opinion, the best fish to start out fishing for, because they're a little bit of a challenge, they're fun to catch, and they are absolutely delicious. They're easy to fillet, Take the skin off just like this. Oh, come on, get off there. There we go. Just take out those pin bones and rib cage, which is pretty easy. Just like that. And come through here. And I got all them pin bones. And that's a really nice little fillet. It makes a good fried fish. They're good on the grill. You can actually leave the skin and scales on and put it on the grill just like that. And they're absolutely delicious, but we're gonna fry some today. That's what I think we're gonna do. Not 100% sure yet. But pretty easy to do, guys. This is one of my favorite fish to catch, one of my favorite fish to target, and one of my favorite fish to eat. All right, y'all, we're in the kitchen. We got our mango snapper fillets here. We got 10 fillets. We also got two trigger fish fillets from trigger fish I caught on a recent trip. We're gonna be using some lemon juice, some minced garlic, big old tub of minced garlic right here, some Old Bay, and some butter. And we're gonna have the ovens right now is preheating to 400 degrees. We'll go ahead and take some butter here. I'm just gonna cut a couple pieces. I like to use a lot of butter in my family. When we make this, we like to use a lot of butter. You definitely don't have to if you don't want to, if you're more health conscious. 
if you guys want to use a substitute to butter you can do that as well you don't have to follow this recipe exact but we happen to really like butter so we use it it just really seems to give it a really good flavor but as this melts it don't look nowhere near this much but just do what y'all like all right so i got the butter there and now we're going to put in some butter i mean some lemon juice just going to sprinkle that in there a little bit like that Right. Also gonna put in some some garlic, sprinkle it along in there. A little bit more. We like a lot of garlic. And then we're gonna put in some old bay. And then we're gonna cover this up. And put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. All right, my oven is preheated, so we're gonna put this in here. So it is now in the oven. And I'm gonna set the timer for 20 minutes, and it should be perfect. All right, y'all, our fish is done. Ooh boy. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Look at that. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna grab one of these mango snapper fillets right here. Look at that, y'all. And we are gonna try that out. Man, look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that, yo. All right, y'all. Well, I knew when I was out there cleaning that I said I was gonna fry these fish. Well, I decided not to fry them. Started, we've eaten a lot of fried foods lately. So I figured we'd go ahead and do something different. Do some baked fish. Plus, Ammer and Summer really loves the baked fish. So let me get me a piece right here. Ooh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that tastes almost like crab meat. That is, that is wow. Wow. Y'all gotta try that. I know a lot of you gonna say, oh, that's way too much butter. Just use the amount of butter that you like. Use the amount of everything that you like. You don't have to do it exact. If you don't like butter, use a butter substitute. Use something that you like to use. Thai and salad dressing, whatever you like. But that is awesome. Put that over some rice. That's happy, happy. Very good stuff. Well, thank you guys very much for hanging out with me today, watching us catch some mangoes, watching me do a little catch and cook. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please go over and hit that subscribe button and hit those bells for notifications because those thumbs up, guys really help us out really help us out a lot in the algorithm really gets us out there so i appreciate it until we see y'all again tight lines jetty rockers see y'all real soon